something you don't see every morning unless you work in this area nice little sunset actually it's sunrise I'm still half asleep and when I pan over here I have a nice view of the park didn't make a game this season but every time I'm in this area it's still nice to see this AT&T Park and you got San Francisco's iconic 3rd Street Bridge right over there as well. Man, I sure miss this area. Check that out. You see the 3rd Street Bridge and if you look across right over there, right over there in the distance, oops, trying to zoom in. Right over there you see the 4th Street Bridge. Only the two remaining drawbridges left in San Francisco. The 4th Street over there, and a nice third street one right over here. There's a nice shot of the park right on the other side of this bridge. This is called, I call it the third street bridge, but a lot of people call it the Lefty O'Doul's Bridge. But it really is the third street bridge. There's the spot right there where the guys will go up and take control whether this metal part right here goes up and down. Pretty crazy. Welcome everyone, it's my daily vlog channel, Eric B's Daily Vlogs. It's a nice bridge. Nice bridge and check out the nice view of AT&T Park right behind me. Yes, I am in the China Basin, China Basin location today. I'm over here covering a co-worker of mine. But I said, you know what? I'll do it. This is a nice area where I can actually take the camera out and film. So I'm gonna do it. But first, gotta get coffee. And I'm walking to the old Starbucks that I used to walk to a lot. A lot of things has changed here. A lot of things has. Another nice shot of the park on the Third Street side. It's October and they didn't make the playoffs but it's okay it's okay that building right there where they're doing construction that's on the corner of 3rd and Townsend and if you guys remember the old movie Dirty Harry Clean Eastwood that area right there is famous for the Burger Island where he said his famous line go ahead and make my day they tore it down and they put up McDonald's up there. McDonald's has been up there for about, I'd say over 20 years, till I guess they decided to tear down the McDonald's and put a nice little hotel up there. So that's what's coming up there. It's gonna be a nice hotel. I told you, this area's changed a lot. No matter which Starbucks I go to, mobile order is always ready. If you haven't jumped on the mobile order yet, you need to, this is definitely Time, it saves time. It's ready when you get there. If you order at the right time, I gotta look both ways because I'm crossing train tracks. But yes, it's definitely, definitely worth it. And I wonder if they have mobile order in Japan, but I'm gonna try my best not to hit the areas that we have here at home. The only thing I'm probably gonna do different or try is a 7-Eleven and a McDonald's because they got different stuff in the menus at McDonald's but a cup of coffee it's nice and hot ready when I got there you guys definitely need to do it now this right here this is the 4th street bridge see that big metal concrete up there this is another bridge that draws up when there's a ship that needs to go by built in 1916 as you can see, pretty cool bridge. You can still see the old metal rivets. Probably original from when it was built. Look how high it goes up. It goes across. And that metal part right there on the ground, that's what draws up when there's a boat or a little houseboat that needs to go by and if you look behind me over here right over there 
It's the Third Street Bridge. And look at that backdrop of AT&T Park. Pretty sweet. Pretty sweet. There's the name of it. Fourth Street Bridge. The Peter R. Maloney Bridge. And over there, gives you the little sign that you need 60 minutes advance notice required before the bridge opening. So if you need to cross or go under, you have to call them 60 minutes. This is what it looks like from over here. I like these old little drawbridge. They're pretty cool. I was able to see a few of them go up and down. Again, this area has changed a lot in the years. I mean, you look behind me right here. That building is new. That building was not here when I was working over on this side. That building is new. And what I'm glad is that the two bridges that I showed you, the 3rd Street Bridge and the 4th Street Bridge, is still here. It's still here. It's still operational. It still works. And piece of San Francisco history. Now if you go back and watch some of the old Dirty Harry movies, Clint Eastwood movies, you'll see these two bridges in the backdrop or you'll actually see him using the bridge. So, cool piece of San Francisco history. I'm glad they're here. I'm glad that San Francisco is not gonna remove them. So, it's a good thing, it's a good thing. This whole area, right over there, Port of San Francisco, all this area is still pretty good. Still pretty old and traditional. You see the flags over there flying at half staff because of what happened in Vegas. But man, this view right here, just check out that view. So breathtaking. You got the ballpark, you got the new Salesforce tower that's erected, being erected. You got the new building over here, Trans uh, China Basin. And then right over there, you see the Third Street Bridge piece of San Francisco history that a lot of people don't realize is a piece of San Francisco history. So, Third Street Bridge over here, and on the other side where I just came from, the Fourth Street Bridge. And the backdrop, the ballpark. Pretty cool. <laughs> There's a lot of history in San Francisco. There's a lot of places that's been here for over a hundred years that with a little investigation nowadays with the internet, Google search, we can find these areas. We can even find out the history. Those are just two areas that I showed you guys today. The two bridges, when I used to work in that area, I walked along those bridges, across the bridges, whatever you want to say it. I walked along them almost every day. Um, especially the 4th Street Bridge, 3rd Street Bridge, every now and then I would. I would drive over it more than I would walk over it, but always wanted to know the history. And both bridges was built around 1961, in those, er those time of days. And they're fully operational drawbridges. Fully operational. They go up and down. I have a video at the end of the video that I'm going to show you guys of the 4th Street Bridge that I took when I was there. But yes... A lot of history. Those are two staples to San Francisco, and it's really small. It's tiny. It's not like the London Bridge, where it's really, you know, massive. This is a. These are two small bridge, but it's definitely, definitely part of San Francisco history, and it's something that that everyone in San Francisco should know about. So that's it for today, guys. Thanks for watching. Vlogs ended. Go in peace. Thank <laughs> you.